Every year, the majority introduces their first and most important 10 bills. We are doing that today. First of all, it's very important to note that we have to talk about the economy and let the American people know that we know how very, very serious it is that we do something. We have such a difficult time with the economy. It's in the state of crisis. Not thousands of jobs being lost each month, but now hundreds of thousands of jobs lost each month. We are going to do everything we can to create jobs, put the middle class first and strengthen our economy. And we're going to do it with the thought in mind that we have to make America more energy independent. We have to make sure that back here in Washington, there's a new Washington, one that has some discipline, has some restraint, there's accountability, there's oversight, there's responsibility and transparency. And we have to make sure that we not only are concerned about what's happening on the short term, but also the long term. I'd like to address three of the bills that are part of the package. The first one uh, is focused on restoring accountability and oversight to the executive branch and making government more transparent. We're going to start by reviewing the uh, Bush administration's controversial midnight regulations. Uh, many of these last minute changes by executive order, uh, we believe, can hurt American workers, families, the health care, and the environment. The second area relates to immigration. Democrats will strengthen our economy and national security by uh, enacting and enforcing tough and fair immigration laws. We'll provide more effective border enforcement to prevent illegal immigration. We'll reform and rationalize current avenues recognizing that we are a nation of immigrants. The third issue, restoring America's power. Democrats will enhance our national security by strengthening our military in the right way rebuilding America's standing in the world and reducing key threats, providing our troops the equipment and training they desperately need and our veterans the support that they deserve here at home. The issues change over the years, but what is constant and always constant is people want to make sure that they have access to affordable quality health care and that our education system works for them that their children will get the kind of education that means that they can have a job even in these tough economic times. One of our main focuses is focusing on the middle class. Uh, as you know, I think middle class voters showed that they thought that this, the present administration forgot them. Well, we are going to focus like a laser on middle class families and what they need. We try to deal with middle class problems as families go through life. First, we double the child tax credit. So bringing a new child into the world is very expensive these days. We're going to double that. As so you go through life, what are the expenses? Middle of most people's lives, it's college. We have already passed a bill that allows a certain amount of tuition to be deducted. We're going to increase that deduction significantly, up to $3,000 per student, $9,000 a year per families. Uh, and we are going to include things like textbooks, which can often cost $1,000. And finally, our parents are living longer. Who's taking care of them? And we're going to have a new tax credit for families that pay for the care of an aging parent who does not live with the family. So we're trying to help the middle class as they go through life. So as this country called for change, we are saying to them, we are bringing change to you by bringing forward a package of bills that says that this country will work for you again.